Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about how to choose between a clamp meter and a digital multimeter. Uh, what you'll notice right off the start is that the meters really have very similar functions. They both measure voltage, they both me measure resistance, continuity, um, they also have uh, capacitance, and some of them have temperature. And you'll see that's very common amongst the meters. Where the big difference is, is actually how they measure current. You'll notice the clamp meter obviously has the, the clamp jaw, which is where current is actually induced through the clamp and the digital multimeter, current is actually measured through the jacks. So what's the difference? Well, with the digital multimeter, you have to actually measure the current in series. So I have a little drawing here of what in series means. So basically what you do is you've got your, power, your line running through here. In order to measure the amperage through there with a digital multimeter, you actually have to break the circuit and put the meter in series. So you can imagine you've got your, your current coming through here, you connect, it touches this lead here, runs through the multimeter and continues on and completes the circuit. Now, the big, the big cause for caution on this is that you actually have to open the circuit and that can be potentially dangerous. Now most digital multimeters will, won't read higher than 10 amps, which is really good because really it only takes about 100 to 200 milliamps to kill you, which is actually 0.1 to 0.2 amps. So if you think about that, if you've got a 10 amp circuit, you're opening this circuit up to measure it with a digital multimeter. That's a very potentially hazardous uh, environment that you put yourself in. So what about a clamp meter? How does a clamp meter work? Well with a clamp meter, if this is your, your power source or your, your cord, instead of opening this cord up or this circuit up, what you do is you just clamp around it. And by clamping around it, you're putting the clamp meter in, in what we call in parallel. So now there is no opening of the circuit. There's no potentially uh, uh, hazardous environment that, it, that you're exposed to the high amperage running through there. And the benefit to that is that the clamp meters can actually read much higher. This particular one will read up to 600 amps. Uh, something like the CL2500 will go up to 1,000 amps. So you can actually measure it safer, uh, measure it easier, and you don't have to open the circuit. So just a couple things to consider when you're looking at either buying a digital multimeter or a clamp meter.